Welcome to Willow's World of DIY. I'm Willow and today I'm going to show you guys how to build some tamper-proof hold-down stakes for my Adirondack chairs. Let's get to it. I'm using a Miller Spectrum 375 Extreme Plasma Cutter, a Fortress Air Compressor, and my Miller Matic 211 Auto Set Welder. This is 2 inch by 3 16 steel and I'm cutting it at two and a half inches. I clamp a piece of wood in place just to have a straight edge. And then I square it up with my framing square. I'm using half inch steel rod by 12 inches long and I'm welding that to my uh, two and a half by two inch 3 16 steel plate. I haven't laid down any beads in about five years, so hopefully these look semi-decent. <laughs> and if they don't, that's what grinders are for. I'm cutting these 12 inch sections of this half inch uh, steel bar front with my uh, sawzall. Now I'm marking a center point so I can drill my holes for our bolts to go through. I start off with a small drill bit and then I just step my way up to the size of hole that I need. I'm using DeWalt impact drill bits. Now we can start grinding down the welds. And grind a point on the end of the stake. I'm putting some tack welds on the half inch steel rod just to uh, hopefully make it harder to pull out of the ground after it's driven in and the ground settles around it. And I'm also touching up some of my welds.
I recently bought this DeWalt brushless uh, angle grinder and man this thing works great it has variable speeds and the motor doesn't bog down at all I gotta say that this is one of the best or the best angle grinder I've ever used this is a look at the stakes before I make them tamper proof now I'm cutting some tamper proof rings out of this uh, one inch black pipe I just had this one inch black pipe laying around so that's what I used These are the regular nuts and washers. I just tack them, tack the washers to the nuts to uh, make my tamper proof nuts. Now that I have them all tacked up, I'm going to weld between the two washers to fill in that gap. And now I'm welding on the tamper proof rings. I get them all tacked into place and then I check the fitment of my tamper proof nuts inside the, the ring and then I weld them up. Now I'm going to drill a hole into all my tamper proof nuts, just one hole, and I use the socket over the bolt to, uh, you know, align my drill bit, and I'm going to make a specialty tool with that socket over the bolt that uh, will uh, make it so you can take the, you know, install these and remove them. I'm using this cheap uh, Phillips head screwdriver to uh, make my tool. I cut off the Phillips head tip. I use a socket over over the bolt and then I uh, use my Phillips head screwdriver and I weld that up to the socket to make my tool. And then I cut the rest of the screwdriver off the socket. And here I'm just checking to see if it's going to work. And it seems like it's working just fine. And this is where I'm going to be installing my Adirondack chair. I just drive the stinks down into the ground. Oh, and a good friend of mine, Chris, from Absolute Powder Coating, powder coated these uh, stakes for me since I'm out of town, and they did a great job on them. I really appreciate it. When powder coating is done right, you can beat on it with a hammer and it won't chip. And I had these powder coated just because I didn't want them to rust. It was pretty funny. All the guys at the powder coating shop had no clue what these were for. They thought I was starting to hunt some vampires or something. Once I have them lined up, I drill out the holes 
and install my carriage bolts and they have a button head on them on one side so you can't you know get a wrench or anything on them and then I have my tamper proof nuts on the other side and of course my helper Miss B has to get in the shot I installed two stakes per each chair and they seem to be holding down pretty good and I think as you know once the dirt settles even more with some water you know down on it then it'll uh, be even stronger. I hope you found this video helpful. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. Thanks for watching Willow's World of DIY. Until next time.